Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the new episode of Teach Tech Tips. Today, we're going to look at making a informational video using the Windows 10 Photos app. Um, it's um, been updated recently, and there's a lot of good um, actual bits and pieces that have been added to it. The Photos app is now very rich in content. It's basically been merged with Movie Maker. And now it's uh, quite good to make nice, easy to use videos so for you to make and your students to make. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I'm gonna to present. So there's, there's a few things, there's a few things first that we need to make sure that we get started. Here's our photos app and um, that's just our our palette that we look at. Uh, the first thing we need to do firstly, though, if you're going to use some images, which you're going to, get a, a uh, in your pictures, um, in your pictures folder, get a folder already set up, a subfolder with all of the images that you're going to use anyway, because that's where it's going to draw it from. Now I'm going to put some text on mine as well. So I've already and develop some text that I'm also going to paste onto my video. So I've got that ready to go as well. So what we're gonna do up here in the top right-hand corner, I'm gonna go new video, new video project. And I'm gonna call this past, uh, sorry, emerging tech 2020. I'm going to do this for a class that I teach. So here it is here. Here's our blank video so far. Now on the left hand side, we've got this little arrow and this will pop out. So uh, that you're saying that my video project library is empty. Now I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add from my PC and here are my photos. So I'm going to do the internet of things, AI, blockchain, Machine learning, drones, and then I'll open. So now, uh, the easiest thing to do now is to um, drag them down. But firstly, before we do that, we'll add a title card. So I'm going to add a title card and I'm going to put text on my title card. I'm going to go with cinema and here's my text up top and I'm going to go with emerging technologies 2020. Oh, I might change that to boom. No, it's a bit fresh. Bold, that'll do. And then click done down the bottom. You can choose what layout, where you would like it, if you'd like it up the top or on the side, uh, but I'm going to have it right in the middle. And you'll also notice that in the bottom, in the storyboard tab down the bottom, you'll notice that my title card goes for three seconds. If you click on that, you can change it to go for longer or shorter if you wish. Now on the one next to it, I am going to drag, I'll, I'll look back at the script, and the script says IOT is the first one. So I know this image is it. So I'm going to drag that down to there for my Internet of Things. So that's going to come up and that's going to be on the screen. And I'd like that to be one, two, three. I'd like that to be on the screen for five seconds. So on the next one. So here's where if you wanted to, you could add a um, some text, but please be aware that the text will go over the image. So I don't really want it to go over the image. So I'm going to just click OK, that's fine. Um, I'm going to add a title card. And this is the easiest way to add text. So I'll click on my title card, right click, edit text. We're going to go with nice and simple in the middle and i'm going to copy what i've written out here control c Bring that to here. Up the top control v and edit 
this just a little bit and this will be up. That's going to need to be on there a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do click done. I'm going to drag it over into the right order. But I'm going to make sure that that uh, title card goes for longer than three seconds. So I want that title card to go for 10 seconds. it'll go for 10 seconds. So we're just going to play. Here's our title card, three seconds. Here's our internet of things. Infographic, here's our data that goes. So that's enough time for the students to read it. So what we also need to do, we need to make sure that if you have a look at our, I'll just move that out of the road and have a look at our time, had our timing for our information. We need to drag that out. And we're going to make it stay there for the entire 10 seconds. Click done. And we will go back. Make sure we can edit. Title, timing's working good. One, two. This is plenty of time for the reader to read the information and then of course goes on to the next slide. So, so far, so good. Excellent. Now, um, and just to keep the video shorter than the allotted five minutes, essentially what you do is the same thing over and over again. So you just drag down your next, and my next one would be machine learning. So here's my machine learning, and I would um, drag that down there, then put some information there about machine learning on the next slide. And of course, you can make them different um, camera motion, 3D effects, and all those different filters that you could normally do a movie maker. Up the top, can have some background music for the entire thing, but the best way to do it is go back to the title slide. Background music. Uh, I'm going to go with. Yep, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. And we'll sync it. Click done, and then when it plays, let's have a go. So then, uh, we'll get rid of that off there. So therefore, this is just the, the obviously just showing how to edit. You can finish it off, and I'm going to finish this off later, but not in this video. I don't want to make it too long. You can change the background effects as well. Uh, you can do custom audio if you wish. You can add audio files. And then at the end, when you click finish your video, this is where you would be, um, how you would be exporting it. And generally, I would export it high if I'm going to show it on YouTube, etc. And then I just click export, and then away we go. So um, that is uh, the easy way to create a nice informational uh, video in um, using the, the Microsoft uh, Windows 10 Photos app. Now, I hope this helps you out, and um, thanks for watching.